guys, uh, welcome back. Um, I'm coming to you from my garage workshop. So um, I just thought I'd do a short video on um, my Molly panel. I've gotten a few questions about it, about details, and um, I figured why not now would be the best time to basically um, just share kind of uh, the idea behind it. Uh, so my Molly panel is actually a dog kennel divider, um, which I've had for probably almost a decade. Um, I just never use it. I had one dog and never needed to divide his kennel or her kennel. Um, I hardly even use the kennel itself. Um, but yeah, so I had the divider, never used it. It's It pretty much stayed in storage for many years. Um, I never wanted to get rid of it. I just thought I would have some kind of use for it at some point. And um, one day I was researching uh, Molly panels and when I would look at the uh, universal panels, it almost resembled to me, um, my dog kennel divider. So I thought about the different ways and different ways I can mount it and the placement. So I pretty much use the, the furthest rear uh, driver side window just because I, I never looked through that window. Um, so that was pretty much the easiest decision as far as where, um, now, let me show you how I mounted it. Okay, so what I used here, um, I think they call them screw eyes. They're basically screws. So right here, another one there. And then on this end, basically just screw through the interior panel one there and then I did one here basically just locks it in place prevents it from moving um, up or down so I decided to use elastic bands to basically tie the panel and the screw together. I decided to go with the bands just because there's so much space between the window and the panel it's almost about five five to six inches so using elastic and just keep in mind besides this screw on this side there's nothing holding it into place on this end so with that in mind I'm able to open this up and store things underneath let me give you guys an example of how I store how I would store a blanket okay so this is my my Golden State Warriors blanket I would simply just pull this slide it through. So now it's carrying um, an extra fleece blanket. And this is how you would take it off. Just basically slide it out. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but I put a reflective sheet to cover the window and I painted it black. There, you can see it better right there. That's my reflective sheet.
I'm just gonna go through each um, molly pouch and what I carry inside. So in this red one, this is obviously my my first aid kit. So this basically carries um, just first aid type stuff. So what I have here, I have band-aids, I have wraps, antibiotic ointment, I have gauze, um, sanitizer, um, I have some saline in a syringe, I've got Excedrin, a couple ice packs, alcohol pads, um, that's pretty much all I've got here. We do bring a larger first aid kit whenever we um, whenever we go camping, which has you know we carry a thermometer, um, my daughter's medicine, Tylenol, Motrin. Um, so in this green pouch, we have this is a CPR um, barrier. So. I'm CPR certified and I'm also a CPR instructor, so I carry this with me. This basically just kind of provides um, a barrier between you and, you know, if you ever had to give someone CPR, uh, if you ever have to give someone mouth to mouth, um, this just allows the barrier and protection so you're not going lips to lips. Now in this pouch I have this is just basically wipes. Um, this pouch up here, I have my tire deflator from Rhino USA. Not special, just a, a deflator. A tire gauge also, as well. I also carry hand warmers and my hiking spikes I don't know I just figured I would keep it in here um, I feel like a lot of times I misplace things and I figure if I'm ever gonna go on a hike and I'm gonna need it or um, you know a lot of times you don't know what um, the landscape's gonna look like until you get there. So I just kind of keep it in here. Most of the time I'm driving this car anyways. So my hiking spikes, hand warmers, and tire deflator. In this pouch, I carry an extra camp light. Um, this is cool, it has three different um, settings. And you can simply charge this by USB. So I like this. And it's pretty bright. Um, I don't really need to keep this with my camping gear just because I have so many lights already. So I just like to keep it in handy. It's always nice to have a light. I actually used it the last time I went to Anza Borrego. I got stuck at night and this light came in handy. So I'm kind of glad I have that. Um, and this, I don't have anything in here. Okay, so this pouch, basically just carry latex gloves. That's it. Um, this pouch up here, I carry two FSR walkies and bug spray. I also have uh, straps and extra batteries for the radios. The radios come in handy, it's nice, you know, if you're hiking with a group, um, just, you know, in case you ever get separated, it's good to be able to, um, obviously communicate with your group. Um, so in this pouch, I basically just carry maps from the different places I've visited. I actually have more maps at home. 
Um, but these are just a few. I got Mount Baldy, Cucamonga Wilderness, Petrified Forest. This is just a guide to Yosemite. Daily Pass for the um, Angeles Forest. Obviously Joshua Trees right there. Um, San Gregorio Wilderness. Hungry Valley. Just some, you know, maps of places that um, I often visit or I plan to visit, but they're all pretty local. So I just, you know, I, I just think it's a good, a good, uh, a good thing to have. I also have maps of um, Northern California, Southern California, and Death Valley in Arizona. Um, you know, I know we have our, you know, map quests on our cell phones now, but a lot of places you you lose, you know, your GPS signal and. Um, I'm sort of the type that likes to carry paper maps and I mean before the you know GPS I was reading paper maps so I'm pretty familiar with um, uh, how to read paper maps still so um, I guess I'm still part of the lucky generation but um, yeah so I keep my paper map maps here and that's pretty much it um, I really like how this setup has evolved um, and here's another, here's a shovel, it's a camp shovel. Um, I use this shovel to put out my campfires. Um, I also have a mirror here just because, I don't know why. But like I said, um, this continues to evolve and I really like how I have it set up right now. Um, but you know, every trip I'm always learning and you guys know, I'm sure you guys learn something from every trip whether it's a hiking trip camping trip a backpacking trip um, some things that you wish you brought or other things that you really wish you didn't bring so um, I'm the same way uh, there's a lot of things that um, that change but yeah I'm really happy with how this is set up and yeah if you guys have any questions about anything um, anything regarding this uh, molly panel um, feel free leave a comment down below and I'll be more than glad to help you out um, I have a buddy who actually he actually took the idea went to um, I think he went to a, a local pet store and he found a dog kennel divider and he's been using it since so um, the cool thing about this um, I'm gonna call it a uh, a molly panel it is a dog divider but uh, metal pieces are very thin and you can fit a lot in here um, so I'll get you guys the measurements right now okay some of you might be curious about the measurements so I'm gonna take the measurement right now because I actually do not know the measurement so I'm at about 34 inches in length and 12 inches in height so 34 by 12 inches which is decent I mean this isn't like your ordinary panel um, it obviously covers more than just the window itself um, which again I like it because it creates a little pocket here I can put a pillow I can put um, a single person tent um, an extra blanket so um, I like it. Okay guys, so let me know what you guys think of that video. Um, I can do a lot more of these short videos. Like I said, they're very easy to edit. And yeah, that's all I've got for you. I hope you guys are all doing very safe out there. Um, you know, just make sure to wash your hands, don't touch your face, and you know, let's practice this, you know, keeping our distance from um, just people and we will get through this together. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys following along and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.